This mother is doing everything to give her kids a normal routine here in Kashmir's border town of Chakoti. But the children are still suffering the effects of all the fighting around them. I cooked last night, but these kids did not eat. They were just too afraid. Firing scared them. Classes have resumed in this town battered by fighting between India and Pakistan, but attendance is low. Some families who fled in February when fighting escalated between the two nuclear-armed countries are trickling back. Chakoti, on the Pakistani side, faced some of the worst shelling. At the peak of the hostilities, almost the entire population was forced to flee, many in the middle of the night and on foot due to the heavy firing. Only a few people have returned here or there. Some shops are open now, but it's not the same hustle and bustle we used to have in the bazaar. Indian and Pakistani armies regularly fire at each other in Kashmir across what is known as the line of control. It's the de facto border in a disputed region that both countries want to own fully, but each controls only partially. Fears that the fighting would escalate toward war grew last month when Indian planes entered Pakistani territory to destroy what India claimed were terrorist training camps, an accusation Pakistan denied. Though tensions have eased, life remains uneasy. Locals say the buildings and homes, largely made out of tin, offer no protection from the fighting. Some have built bunkers, but many are left exposed. The situation is so bad that people leave here in the evening. Everyone is scared that the firing can start any time. So far, the government has done nothing. Residents say as they try to return to normal, they live in fear tensions will rise again and uncertainty about their fate if they do. Aisha Tanzim, VOA News. Chakoti.